Well, the US President Donald Trump has announced he is pulling the United States out of the Paris Agreement on climate change. The move has been met with dismay from many other world leaders. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. RT's Caleb Morpen has more on that decision by the U.S. President and the international reaction. In what many are calling an outrageous move, Donald Trump has announced that the United States is going to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. Now, this is something Donald Trump promised to do throughout his presidential campaign, and it seems that today he has fulfilled that promise. The Paris Climate Agreement has been controversial. The agreement aims at stopping the rising climates around the globe and, and reducing climate change uh, to no more than two degrees Celsius. Now, as part of the agreement, hundreds of billions of dollars are paid out to poorer countries around the world so that they can develop a cleaner energy and cleaner technology. It's not exactly clear what the time frame is for the Paris Climate Agreement to take effect and how long uh, the measures necessary and the measures mentioned in the agreement will take in order to achieve their stated goal. Now, there's been quite a reaction to Donald Trump's move around the world. Various world leaders, as well as the United Nations, have decided to chime in and voice their disapproval of what Donald Trump has done. Donald Trump announced his decision to withdraw the United States from the Paris Agreement. I do respect this decision, but I do think it is an actual mistake, both for the U.S and for our planet. We're deeply disappointed that the United States federal government had decided to withdraw from the Paris Agreement. Canada is unwavering in our commitment to fight climate change and support clean economic growth. Chancellor Merkel disappointed with President Trump's decision. Now more than ever we will work for global climate policies that save our planet. Now, China has announced that they're looking to step up their role in the Paris Agreement and the global fight against climate change. China has announced that they intend to be taking up America's role and that they hope to be one of the leading countries in the world on the forefront of the battle against rising climate. Now, the move from Donald Trump, widely decried by European leaders, points to an increasing division between the United States and its historic allies in Europe. Uh, many are pointing out that Donald Trump's presidency seems to have put a greater division between the United States and the European countries that have long aligned with it. We can cross live now to Gregory Copley, editor of Defence and Foreign Affairs Publications. Thanks for joining us, uh, Gregory, here on RT uh, International. This is a decision, of course, many people uh, around the world won't understand. Why do you think Trump, though, uh, took this decision to pull out of this, uh, this agreement? Well, President Trump is actually showing great leadership. Uh, he made this commitment to his electoral base, uh, and he's following through on it. I think he could have even done it in, in, in more direct terms. He's offered to renegotiate the treaty. But the reality is uh, he is showing leadership. He recognizes that the climate change agreement is not about uh, the changing climate of the world, which is something which has been with us since the beginning of the planet. Uh, but it's about redistribution of wealth. It's about giving uh, governments uh, authority to tax and to legislate uh, to control industry. Uh, if they want to change the climate, then they, they're going to have to do something more substantial than uh, issuing taxes and, and rules. After all, we saw uh, one volcano in Iceland a couple of years ago spew more carbon into the atmosphere than the entire human race has done in its, since its existence. So I think what uh, Donald Trump has done has been to emulate King Canute a thousand years ago. King Canute was uh, persuaded by his, uh, was told by his courtiers that he was the most powerful man in the world, and if he commanded the tide to go to go out, uh, then it would go out. And King Canute, uh, in, an, in an effort to show that he was not mightier than nature, actually had his throne put down to the, the shore and uh, proved that he could not t uh, turn the tide back. Well, Trump's doing the same thing. He is saying, look, this is a lot of nonsense. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, Put, my, put mankind up as being greater than nature. Uh, let's get on with, with life and let's get this government imposition out of the way of industry and society. Reduce the size of government, reduce the impact of government and get on with, with life. 
and that's what's going to happen. But he makes the point that that it's not about uh, pollution. Pollution is something he does fight. It's uh, but it's it's different from this climate change politics, this religion. But if, if I could just ju- jump in, Gregor, of course, he might be playing up to his electoral to electoral base, fulfilling his election pledges, as you say, showing leadership, at least to his U.S. support base. But this move has been criticised by a majority of, you know, leaders in the de- developed world, Canada, the U.K., France, Germany, China, others. Uh, let's leave aside the whole host of uh, scientific uh, evidence, scientific community that's, that's roundly criticised uh, his decision um, uh, to abandon this climate change treaty. Surely that will leave him very isolated, won't it? I don't think so. The United States economy is getting stronger. It will get a lot stronger. The U.S. is starting to reassert itself strategically. Uh, basically, uh, Trump has said, uh, well, we're not going to go along with this uh, being dragged down by these stupid uh, populist uh, beliefs. We're going to get on with the business of uh, being uh, prosperous and powerful. And and basically, this is, he said, uh, the king has no clothes. He's, he's actually called uh, the, the bluff on the climate change people. I think other countries will eventually follow suit, or the, the whole Paris Climate Accord will uh, just start to fade away and nobody will pay any attention to it at all. Uh, as the saying goes, we'll always have Paris, but hopefully we won't have the Paris Accords. All right, Gregory Copley there, editor of Defence and Foreign Affairs Publications. Thanks for giving us uh, your take there on uh, what's been a pretty controversial uh, day there for that withdrawal of the treaty.